Yours on YouTube, we are back, and today, tier list ranking, the first one of this kind for set two cards and over the show. Today's video, I'm going through all the 99 overall set two cards and tier listing them. There's going to be F tier cards, talking S tier, A tier, B tier, C, D, and F. There's going to be some F tier cards. <laughs> Looking forward to this one. I'm telling you guys, there's going to be a lot of controversy. Wait around. Let me know if I get your favorite player right. Here comes the rankings. I'm going to also be doing the higher overall set two program cards as well at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button if you want to see more tier lists. Now let's get right into things. I also want to note, I've already ranked the top 10 starting pitchers, catchers, and first baseman in the game. That series is still on. If you guys tell me the next position, next position you want to see, I'll get right on that next video. But today, the tier list. Starting things off in order. Dennis Eckersley. Now we're ranking these cards in terms of user friendliness. I want to be able to press one button on my controller, and I know that that player is going to be performing and hitting the ball either 600 feet or throwing a 104 mile per hour fastball up and in. User friendliness. How easy are they to use? How good are they? How well do they play? Cost. Mickey Mantle's 500K. It's got to be factored in. And then also the different difficulties. Some of these guys might play well in All-Star, and some of them might not be playing better once you get the Hall of Fame. So today, I'm going to be ranking them as if they're playing on Hall of All-Star. A little bit of a combination. <laughs> so we'll get into that as we go. Dennis Eckersley, first person. We'll put him in B tier. He's a solid closer. He has a really nice pitch mix. The sinker is what you love to see. His sinker's nasty, his slider's nasty. Fastball and curveball used sparingly. The velo at 76 puts him in B tier. Now the reason is that he is a very good, very usable pitcher. Because his windup, he becomes the elastic man. He reaches down, picks up some dirt, and then before he before you even before you blink, BAM! Elastic man, his, his arm brushes the ground, and the ball's crossed on the plate, and it's a sinker inside, of course. So we'll put him in B tier. We're gonna go pretty quick this video, got a bunch of guys to, uh, to rate. Mike Lowell. Oh, dude, the pronunciations and the nicknames are going to be fun this video. Look at his pie chart. Not the best. Uh, 81 power versus right? You're joking, right? Let's see his clutch. 93 clutch. What? Diamond defense, plays third base. He looks skinny. Like, what's this guy weigh? Look at it. 210. You're telling me he's 210 pounds. He looks like a 5'10", 160 pound person in this image. That's pretty weird. Um, I'm putting him in... I'm going to put him in D tier, actually. I don't think that this card for 40K, there's definitely better options available uh, for sure. Speaking of, Honus Wagner. He's insane. I have him. He's, nu he's nuts. 50K for this guy right here. His pie chart's maxed out everywhere. Diamond defense. 99 drag bunt. If you, dude, if you're, on, if you're on Hall of Fame, talk about Hall of Fame difficulty. If you're on Hall of Fame facing Nolan Ryan, uh, obviously you're not going to get hit. Just press triangle, drop the bunt down, and get the first base easily. His pie chart's insane. Really good card. I'm going to put Honus at the top of A tier for right now. Not S tier yet, but definitely the top of A tier. The power, not there. A tier card. Tariq Skubal. He was good a couple years ago. This year, not as good. The Velo, he has 99 Velo. Uh, not really much to complain about here. I'm just not a huge fan of his windup and how he plays, user friendliness. Uh, we'll throw him in. I'm debating between B and C tier. He's eh, 40K isn't that bad. We'll put him at the bottom of B tier for now. Eric the Red. Uh, dude, someone's got to hold me back from just putting all these nicknames in uh, F tier, honestly. Eric Davis usually plays super well, uh, but I'm not a big fan of the stats they gave him. Uh, clutch in 102. Contact versus right, he's, he's bad versus righties. Let's put, let's just put it, let's be, let's be frank. He's bad versus righties. Uh, I'm gonna throw him in C tier, top of C tier. Pete Fairbanks, closing pitcher. Look at his pitch mix, fastball, slider, splitter. Don't, don't even look at his stats. Fastball, slider, splitter. Uh, I'm gonna put him in F tier. I wouldn't recommend using him. He's 99 overall. He has 99 velo. He has no outlier on the fastball. I'm putting him in F tier. Yeah, he's usable. In reality, he's probably like D tier. We're gonna throw him in F tier because it's you know it's a video. Let's have some fun. Let's make some controversy. Jordan Alvarez. I'm putting him. I almost said C tier. I'm gonna put him at the at, uh, at the bottom ish of B tier, middle toward bottom of B tier. 92k. The price here is what gets me. 
92,000 stubs for this card. His, his stats, I wish he had more contact versus right. Stats versus lefties are pretty solid. Vision is pretty low, not the best. And then defense, 76 fielding, 60 reaction, dude. This guy's going to be out there reading a newspaper in right field. And then he's gonna be, he'll be completing a crossword when the ball's going over his head. So, not the best bottom of B tier. Too expensive. Correa. Correa for 90K. His price, let's look at it. It's been dropping. I like it. I'm going to put him towards the top of B tier. Solid player all around. 93 defense. Really good. Put him towards the top of B tier. Justin Verlander. 355K. You're telling me I got to... I got to... I gotta donate a kindy to afford Justin Verlander. No thanks. Pitch mix, not even that good. I mean, he's got good stats and everything, but I always score a bunch of runs against him. I'm putting him in F tier. For 355K, F tier. Commerce Comet, 410K. A <laughs> bit of a surprise, the first S tier card. This Mickey Mantle plays insane. Really good card to use. His stats play super well. Diamond defense, 94 fielding, 96 speed. Not much more you could want here unless you want to drag bond, but who's going to bump with Mickey Mantle, right? So Mickey Mantle, first S tier card. Casey Mize, let's check out the pitch mix. He has the sinker, any outlier? Nope. Uh, he's pretty mid. He's a pretty mid pitcher. Uh, I forget where I put, I think I put Scooble in the bottom of B, right? So let's put let's put Casey Mize uh, in the middle of C tier. Kind of just a mid, mid player. Utley, man, do I put Utley in S tier, dude. He's hitting, He's he plays insane. He's 17K. You can see I'm invested in him. He's going to go up. He's going to be 30K. I'm tempted to just throw him in S tier. But I'm not going to. That's reserved for Mickey Mantle and other uh, cards of that likeness. But man, Altley is a really good card. Good stats for his both sides of the plate. Good vision, which I love. His clutch is pretty low, which is going to put him hit. We'll put him, we'll put him middle bottom of A tier for now. Booger. Booger. I've never used his Larry Walker card. His stats look really solid, though. I could imagine he has a super long swing versus lefties, so we're going to put him mid-bottom of B tier. Chef G. Now, the name makes me want to put him pretty low, <laughs> but I can't even hit his captain card, so I'm sure this guy, let's see if he swears outlier. No outlier. No outlier. That's really surprising, uh, and that's, that's going to hurt his ranking. We'll put him bottom of B tier because of his price. 103K. Jeez. Bootsy. Now, I'm a huge fan of Ian Kinsler cards. And I haven't used this one yet. I heard he's not great for my friend. Um, his stats, they look really solid. They look really solid. He's a contact hitter. Nothing really stands out besides power versus left as being great. So we'll put him, I think we got him as much as, see, if this was if this was biased, I'd be like, Ian Kinsler, he's the GOAT. Let's put him in A tier. But since he's 190K for mid-tier stats, he's got to be C tier. It's just the way it has to be. Top of C tier, of course. The Hawk, Andre Dawson. <clears throat> I think I think Correa. I don't like. I don't, his swing is bad. His swing is bad. He, he crowds the plate. Like he's he's his elbow might be in the other bat, other batter's box. Come on now. Let's put him in. Uh, let's put him in uh, D. No, let's put him in C tier. C tier, pretty affordable card. Full rake versus lefties. Let's put him in C tier. Joe Mauer. Man, dude, they they learned. They learned a lesson with Tatis. Tatis was an awful chase pack. They came out with Joe Maurer and Mickey, dude. Joe Maurer's going in S tier. He plays very well. Don't look at these. This is this is not accurate. I, I, I promise. He plays. I, I use him in co-op. Don't worry. Maurer's insane. 99 fielding. The ball comes to the catcher. Joe Maurer. You have him catcher, right? The ball comes in. He catches it. Someone's stealing. <gasps> he teleports the ball to second base. 98 arm strength. 99 fielding. The ball's in the dirt. He expands his legs like an octopus and swallows it, and it's not going to the backstop. Joe Maurer, one of the best cards in the game, if not the best. Half the price of Mickey Mantle, of course, because I bought him at 400k. Maurer's S tier. Ah, the name, the name, the name. I'm not saying, I'm not saying the name. I'm not saying the name. Fastball slider cutter. Let's see the outlier. Ooh, there it is. We'll put him. We'll give him. We'll give him bottom of B tier. Could be top of B tier, maybe low A tier. But bottom B tier because of the name and the price, 200k. Open your eyes, Robin Yount. He's not good. He's pretty mid. Uh, we'll put him D tier. Alfonso Soriano, man, this guy looks really good. I think he was a collection award a couple years back. I'm gonna put him at the bottom of B tier because of his price and accessibility. Johnny Lasagna, 
This guy is really good. One of the best pitch mixes in the game. They gave him outlier on the sinker too. Man, this is a good card. I'm gonna put him at the top of B tier. We'll put him, uh, no, 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 you know what? We'll put him at the bottom of A tier. Yeah, that, that's, that's a good spot for Johnny Gonzalez. Prince Fielder, uh, mm, he's slow, 54 speed, pretty solid swing, might get jammers lefties. Uh, we'll put him top of C tier. John Smoltz. Pitch mix, nothing's really popping out as being that usable. Does he have outlier? No, we'll put him at the, we'll put him, we'll put him bottom of C tier. Red turn two, Justin Turner. Sometimes he's a hitch in his swing, but look at the power and contact versus left. Look at the clutch, really solid card right here. Uh, we'll put him middle of B tier. <clears throat> the conductor, Chris Sale. Uh, I don't think that Chris Sale's that great this year. I'm gonna put him at the top of C tier. He has a really, really strange windup, really annoying to face. But I'm gonna put him at the top of C tier because I, I think I figured it out. I gotta figure it out against him now. Michael Brantley, let's look at him right here. Solid, solid card overall. Uh, not really, I'm putting him in D tier. I don't think he's that good. I think versus lefties, I don't like his stance at all versus lefties. Versus righties, I think you have a chance. Versus lefties, I think your best chance is to get a little jam shot over the shortstop's head. So I'm putting him at the top of D tier. G Man Choi, G Money, versus righties, he's a goat. Versus lefties, he's non existent. Uh, we'll put him at we'll put him in D tier as well. I'm a big fan of G Man Choi. I saw him in person, but that's not gonna get you higher than D tier, buddy. Chapman, the missile. Now I use Chapman, and he's impossible to hit. And I guess I'm doing pretty well with him. So I'm gonna put him. Uh, I'm putting him towards the top of A tier. Really hard card to face. Throw just gas. Outlier, nasty pitch mix. They're just giving him extra pitches. Uh, we're putting him top of, of A tier. James Paxton, Big Maple. When I use him, his cutter is nasty. His cutter's nasty. He has a sinker, but the velo, velo's not really there. Uh, I'm gonna put him towards the middle bottom of C tier. Gavin Lux, another guy go versus uh, righties, versus lefties, 78 power, yikes. Uh, let's put him at the top of D tier. Now we got not too much people, not too much more to go. Willie Mays, really good pie chart, put him towards the bottom of B tier. Ryan Sandberg, not a big fan of his swing ever. Uh, I'm going to put him towards the bottom of C tier. Kershaw, Kershaw's pitch mix isn't the best. Does he have any, yeah, the velo is not the best either. Not many quirks. Uh, middle of C tier. Grady Sizemore, this is another guy like Utley. For, like, we'll put him towards the top of B tier. Not as good as Utley. I haven't used him yet, that might be why. Um, you can comment down below if I'm wrong. But I'm gonna put him top of B tier. For the price and the pie chart and the stats, solid card for sure. Tom Seaver, pitch mix isn't the best. Velo's not the best. We all know Velo jamming people up and in. It's what you need. Uh, bottom of C tier. Yuri Perez, sinker, there it is, outlier. Outlier on the sinker, this guy's usable. I don't I don't think he'll be going deep in games with night, with uh, the stats he has and the pitch mix. 99 Velo though. Uh, he's definitely usable for five or six solid innings, innings as a starter. We'll put him towards the middle of B tier. Brandon Crawford, really good hitting card right here. We'll put him towards the bottom of B tier. Bryce Harper, we'll put him towards the middle of B tier. Hoffman. Is this the Hoffman I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of uh, Gagne, all right. I'm thinking of Gagne. Trevor Hoffman though, change up, dude. Let's see his fastball. All right, no outlier on the fastball, 76 velo. Throws super slow, his pitches are hard to hit. Put him towards the middle of B tier, solid player. Mini Minoso, uh, I just saw his pie chart and his price and it doesn't click, so that's pretty weird. I'm gonna put him in top of C tier for his price. Not sure why he's that expensive. Ian Happ. Same thing, I know he's a switch hitter. Uh, he's probably, he's got a really good swing too, he can play anywhere. I'm gonna put him towards the bottom of B tier. Jackson Holiday, lefty, mm, versus lefty's not great, defense is there. Put him towards the bottom of B tier. The Professor, school is in session. Good pitch mix, no velo, 67 velo. Hit the weights, top of C tier, I like using him, look. I like using him, six scoreless innings, I, I, I like him. Gotta hit the gym though. Ryan Express. <sighs> now, I don't think this is Nolan Ryan's best card ever. I faced him on Hall of Fame. It's not fun. Neither is Randy Johnson. But I think it's easier this year than it has been in the past. And instead of S tier, I'm going to give him middle of A tier. Still toxic. Trust me. Willie Ademis. Uh, I'm tempted to put him in F tier because I don't like his swing. 
We'll put him towards the bottom of C tier. Really good stats. 99 fielding. He's going to be on. He literally, he actually, he doesn't use cleats. He has built in slip and slides, uh, flip flops, where he just flops around making those diving plays. Shortstop now with 99 fielding. So we'll put him towards the middle of C tier. Lars Newbar. Solid card. I'm concerned versus lefties and Randy Johnson, how he can get it done, even though he has higher contact. The max clutch is good. Uh, not too much to dislike about this card. It's really about his swing. We'll put him mid to top of B tier. Sandy. Sandy has a nice pitch mix. Does he have outlier? He's got outlier on the secondary pitch, which is the sinker. That's what you like to see. We're going to put him top of B tier, maybe bottom A tier. We'll see. Jose Altuve. I hate his swing. F tier. Yoshida. I like him. Mid B tier. Solid card for the price. Longoria is for some reason 550K. Uh, I got to get my glasses checked, so uh, I don't know what's going on there. 300k, dude, sell now. What's going on? What's happening? Uh, yeah, I'm putting him in D tier because of his price. Stan the Man plays super well. I'm putting him in A tier, mid, low A tier for Stan the Man because of his price. Uh, but really good card. Mariano Rivera, I don't think he plays very well. Really good pitch mix, though. Bottom of B tier. Matt Holiday, I don't think he plays very well either. I'm going to put him bottom of B tier. Beauty, is this like supposed to be like a chemical butane? I don't really know what's going on there. Uh, pretty weird. Walker Bueller, I'm pretty sure his windup is the slowest windup ever. F tier for that. Let's keep going. Josh Donaldson, bringer of rain, he's solid. Donaldson is very solid. Middle of B tier for sure. Frank Thomas, his price went up, right? What's happening? Why are you, everyone's expensive now. I'm putting them in, I'm putting them in C tier, bro. For this price, C tier. Sure bomb. Shore Bombs has a nice swing, max power, solid clutch. He can catch. This might be a good catcher if you're not getting an hour. Still pretty expensive. I'm putting him in the bottom of A tier for his price. Uh, and I'm not going over these 97s. Let's go to the program ones right now. See if we can find anybody in the programs worth ranking. Let's go to the, let's go to the monthly awards. Only ranking 99. So we got Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. He's going in F tier. This is the worst player in the month card ever. The Statue of Liberty at the plate. His strike zone is giant. He can't hit fastballs up and in. I don't like him as a monthly reward. He's going in F tier just for the jokes. Craig Kimbrell. He's going in mm, mm, bottom of B tier. I don't like him. I don't think you should use him. Doesn't have outlier. But they gave him a sinker and he's free. So I'm putting him in the bottom of B tier. Anyone else we should rank? No, because the other programs stink and they don't give out any 99 overalls. There's the ranking. The set two cards, they're 99 overall. The tier list is done. Let me know if you want me to do anything by position. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. What did I get right? What did I get wrong? Thanks for watching. Smash the subscribe button. And let's get rich.